Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another update on the Bitcoin price. We're going to analyze in today's video what are the targets here in case of a major pullback that could be incoming here in the next couple of hours or days. So before we start, just a little announcement. I'm traveling today and tomorrow, so this video is going to be a short one. And also tomorrow I'm going to upload the video a bit later than usual. So let's start straight here in the daily time frame, my friends, because Bitcoin yesterday had here this uh, little pullback down to the nine day moving average, which was expected. So we came right here at $14,400. And the good thing is that currently we are getting supported by this new support, which previously was was resistance so as long as we are closing daily candles above the nine day moving average and even better above this area here between the nine day and 20 day moving average i think we are still on, on our run to the upside but in case that we're gonna lose here the nine day or 20 daily moving average be prepared to see a bigger correction potentially even down towards here the main support of this channel that we were in previously and right now it's lining up at around eleven thousand two hundred dollar and what I want to show you is also a little Fibonacci retracement based from the last dump that we had within this channel. So we bottomed out here at $9,800 and with the current top that we have right now at $16,000, you can see that this would give us a 0.618 Fib line right at $12,200, which is perfectly also lining up with our main support area down here. So if Bitcoin is gonna have a major correction, I think we're gonna see this $12,200 incoming pretty soon before we maybe gonna bottom again and then start the next parabolic run to the upside and also take out this high that we're creating right now. We also got another sell signal here in the daily time frame. We have the RSI, which is also cooling off. So it is possible that if this sell signal is getting confirmed, it's not yet confirmed, that we could start such a correction. And in that case, my targets would be first to reach the 20 daily right here at $13,500 and then potentially this $12,200 before Bitcoin is gearing up for another big move to the upside but this could be all denied if today or tomorrow we're gonna open up again above sixteen thousand dollars so if we are able to take out this high that we created last week because also we're gonna have to see what the stock market will do and how the cmes are going to open again because if we're gonna open the cmes where we are right now so below fifteen thousand six hundred thirty we're gonna have a new future gap up at these levels and of course that would be very bullish wherever the price is dropping because in that case we will eventually come very soon up again to close that new future gap if we are starting the CMEs on Monday below the price where we closed on Friday. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, you can see also here that we came straight back down here to the nine day moving average. And this is also our main support during this run up that we had recently. So even if we would drop below, then here the midline here right at $14,000 should hold as a support. And in the worst case, if we drop lower, I'm targeting here this $11,850. So wherever we were able to go long at around $12,000 or buy even more Bitcoin at $12,000, I think that would be a very nice entry because Bitcoin is looking very bullish even though a pullback is now possible and if we go over into the four hour time frame you can see that currently the nine moving average is crossing the 20 so usually when this happens we see always follow through to the downside and in that case also my target would be to reach the 200 moving average right here twelve thousand six hundred dollar so once more you can see that this area between twelve to thirteen thousand dollar is still very likely to come if we're gonna have a major pullback here but that shouldn't give us a trend reversal or anything like that that in that case we would just have seen a healthy correction and we will gear up for another big move to the upside also after we got here this sell signal at the top you can see that we cooled off and although the money flow we came down and right now it looks like that we're gearing up again to get a buy signal very soon but before this happens i think we will potentially see one less leg to the downside potentially down to this area before we're gearing up for another big move to the upside so watch out for the four hour time frame and also at the daily time frame where we're going to close the next couple of hours and also where we're going 
gonna start to trade the CMEs again tomorrow. So the worst thing what you can do right now is to panic sell if the price is dropping lower because this could happen. I would take it as a good buy opportunity because right now selling Bitcoin to hope that you can buy it in cheaper is very risky and I always recommend you in an uptrend to not to try to sell the rallies but try to long and buy the dips. And remember if you want to trade these swings when we go up and down you can do this over on Bybit or Femix. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. You find all the links down below here in the video description if you want to register to those exchanges you will also get some rewards if you use my links and also if you're completely new in the crypto space you can open up an account over on Swissborg or Coinbase because if you open up an account with my links you will get also some extra money if you put the first deposit of at least 50 dollars and we still have some free slots here to claim some free altcoins so if you're anyway already using coinbase make sure to use my invitation links because here you can get ten dollars worth of compound eos or cheat and stellar completely for free just clicking here at my links and if you want to buy next to bitcoin and ethereum also some other altcoins of course binance is the number one exchange you find also my referral link down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to hit the like button also subscribe to the channel and if you want to see my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals on bitcoin you can do that over on discord you can contact me over there you find the link to our free trading chat down below here so i wish you a great sunday my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.